with that guys, this is Cobb. This video is going to be primarily about staff priority. A lot of you guys wanted to hear about that, so here it is. But I'll also be brushing over professions, talents and glyphs. I'm going to jump straight into staff priority and say crit is going to be our staff priority. From a PvP perspective, crit chance is definitely going to be the strongest and this is why. First of all, crit doesn't only increase your general damage on all spells by just making them crit more generally. But if you check out the tooltip on your Chaos Ball spell, you'll notice that it actually scales with your crit chance. Meaning the higher your crit percentage is, the more damage Chaos Bolt is actually going to land. Now it's important to note that Mastery does a very very similar thing. Your Mastery's destruction uh, increases your fire damage very slightly, but it also increases the effectiveness of your Ember consuming spells. So while Mastery will also increase the damage of Chaos Bolt, crit still has a major advantage over Mastery because of this. When you land a Fell Flame or an Incinerate, you generate 0.1 of a Burning Ember. However, if you land a Crit Fell Flame or Incinerate, you generate 0.2 of a Burning Ember. This effectively means that if you're critting a lot, you'll be generating Embers twice as quickly. So Crit doesn't only mean that you hit harder with your Chaos Bolts, it means that you'll be getting more Chaos Bolts off. Another awesome thing to note as well that I pointed out in a previous PvP DPS guide, is that if your Immolate ticks Crit, they also generate 0.1 of a burning ember. So fire and brimstone, spread emulates with high crit chance, and your embers will basically be flying up. So right at the top of the scale of priority, you have hit rating, which is now a 6% cap for PvP. Once you've hit your 6% hit, stack crit to the max. In my opinion, it's definitely the most effective in PvP, with mastery coming just beneath it. I just want to quickly point out here that for gems, in every blue and yellow slot, these gems. PvP power and crit. You guys don't have to do the same, you might want to prioritize crit a little bit more than me. But I'm just going to have a tinker around with PvP power, see how good it is, and decide from there what I want to put in my red sockets. Because of course red sockets are either going to be intellect and crit, or intellect and PvP power. Right now that's really up to you which one you go for. Honestly, yeah, I haven't even decided yet, and I feel it's really too early to say whether PvP power or crit is going to be stronger in your gems. I place Mastery in second because, again, it increases the effectiveness of Ember consuming spells. That's going to mean stronger Chaos Balls, more powerful Ember Tap heals, and also more damage from your Fire and Brimstone spell. Mastery is a generally good stat, but it's also second priority, basically because Haste is now pretty terrible for destruction. Now, the reason Haste isn't so strong anymore like it was in Cataclysm is firstly because we aren't so focused on CC anymore. Destruction Warlocks in Mop can nuke the fuck out of people. We aren't limited to just being CC bots anymore like we were in Cataclysm. The second and most important reason as to why Haste is now lame as hell is because in Cataclysm and even Wrath of Lich King and Burning Crusade, the damage of your Conflagrate spell was decided by the amount of dot damage that your Immolate had to take over. That meant if you stacked Haste up to a certain percentage, I think it was around 14% in Cataclysm, you could actually get another Immolate tick and that would increase your Conflagrate's damage. However, now we're Mr. Pandaria. Conflagrate's damage is fixed and not dependent on your Immolate being present at all. It operates pretty much like a more powerful version of Fire Blast, and that means it's completely unaffected by his. So this is the final view of the stat priority skill. In my opinion, this is how it stands right now. Of course, it's still subject to change, but honestly, right now, guys, crit is definitely the way to go. Last thing I want to do before I wrap this video up is quickly go over professions. So perfect PvP professions, in my opinion, tailoring and engineering. Now I'm not going to order you all the guard there and just randomly start leveling these. It's completely up to you guys, but if you've ever thought about leveling professions, these are the ones I would definitely recommend. You get quite a lot of cool enchants from tailoring, including the leg enchants, but I'm going to draw most attention to the cloak enchant. The enchant is practically free to use on yourself, and is pretty much an additional power torrent enchant. The second sweet feature of tailoring is the nets. As you can see, the cooldown on the nets is fairly short, you only need ember silk to make them. And considering it's not even on the GCD, and as instant cast, it's going to help you out a ton for that extra slow against melees. Next up is engineering, and the rewards from this one in PvP are absolutely amazing. I think there are three glove enchantments to choose from, but I personally went for the wrist rockets, based in no small part of all of them looking awesome and sounding like fireworks. They actually hit around 40,000 damage over 3 seconds, and are not on the global cooldown, and are on a pretty low cooldown themselves. Next up you get the famed rocket boots, Everyone knows about these, they're just awesome in everywhere really. But the best item of all, and my new bestest friend, is the goddamn hand glider. I've actually had more fun with this thing over the past few days than I can even explain to you guys. It's really just that fucking cool. So yeah, 
Anyway guys, engineering and tailoring, if you're thinking about living link professions, that's what I'd suggest. Now I've already got out videos on my glyphs and my talent specs, but I'm going to show them again just really quick here. This here is my talent spec that I'll be using for Raider Battlegrounds and Normal Battlegrounds. You can pause here if you want to check that out. And this spec is the one I'm going to be using for Arenas. You can click on your screen right here if you want to go to that video. I go into a lot more detail as to why I made the choices that I did in that video, so if you want to check that out. And second up here is my glyphs. Again, you can hit pause here if you want to check out those a bit more, or you can click right here and check out my glyph guide. Again, I explained a lot more why I made the choices that I did, so if you want to check that. Anyway guys, that wraps it up I think. If this video isn't going to get you ready for the huge honor farm that's incoming on uh, this Tuesday, I don't know what the hell will. Hugely pumped for the arena season coming up. Of course when the arena season launches, that's when I'm going to be going crazy with videos. It's going to be arena guides and dual guides and arena montages and hell, every kind of montage under the sun really. So stay tuned for that guys, and like and sub, do all that kind of stuff. Stay destro. And I'll see you on the next video, guys.